Good morning, students of class 9. You are welcome back to the e classes now. We are doing history. Forest transformation in Java, we are doing that is 4.0, and we have finished that. Now, today we will start with 4.1 the woodcutter of Java. The woodcutters of Java. So, there are say five points. The Kalangs, the name of this community, the Kalangs. The Kalangs of Java were a community of skilled forest cutters. They knew how to cut down trees because the forest is very dense and they are very expert in that. So forest cutters and sifting cultivators. They are the sifting cultivators and this community live in the mountainous areas of Java. Number two, they were so valuable. These people, because of their expertise, they were so valuable that in 1775, or 1755, not 75, 1755, when the Mataram Kingdom of Java split, split means separated, when the Mataram Kingdom of Java split, the 6,000 Kalang families, there were altogether 6,000 families, were equally divided between the two kingdoms, 3,000, 3,000. So equally divided because their expertise was very much valuable for the community. So number three, without their expertise, without their know-how or knowledge, it would have been difficult to harvest stick for the or timber for the kings to build their palaces. So that's why these families were equally divided because of their expertise and knowledge and know-how. It would have been without that it would have been difficult for the kings to build their palaces. So number four, when the Dutch began to gain control uh, over the forest in, uh, in Dutch in um, Java, when the Dutch began to gain control over the forest in Java in 18th century, during 18th century, they tried to make the Kalangs work under them. So they forced the Kalangas to work under them, but they refused. In 1770, the Kalang resisted. Resisted means they, they refused by attacking a Dutch fort at Johanna. So at Johanna, they attacked the fort, but the uprising was suppressed by the Dutch. So in this way, the Kalangs were forced to work under them, under the Dutch, but they refused and resisted. And they attacked the fort at Johanna also, but it was suppressed by the Dutch forces. So in our next class, 4.2, Dutch scientific forestry. We'll be doing that, uh, how they practice scientific forestry. First of all, we must know what is scientific forestry. So we'll be doing that in our next class.